Nomad, this is Bowman. Been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the ghosts to deal with the inevitable sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Clearing up all that shaved a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. Okie dokie. I feel like there's a uh, color filter over the game right now. Maybe that's just the weather. I don't know. I feel like it's very desaturated. Bonus, nomad. Got in. Surprisingly, I missed this place. Over. It's great to be working with you again, Nomad. Good times. New day, same old shit. Stay undetected while you make your way to Ito and the outcasts. Liberation should be easy with Sentinel and the Wolves leaderless and exhausted. The good news is, building an independent Aroa will be a breeze now that all parties have given the green light, including Skell's blessing. The only condition Ito gave to the CIA was that you be involved with the transition. Be discreet. Huh. U.S. forces cannot be seen on a Rowan soil. Dang. Great to be back in action, Bowman. The outcast main base is nearby. Do a recon before heading to the base. There's an observation point just in front of you. That way you can better plan your approach. You know, with the, um... It's funny how she said... First off, let me say this. It's funny how she said, it's... I'm, I'm surprised I missed this place. It's kind of like, I'm surprised I missed Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <laughs> um... So, this is going to be a similar situation, a much more modern situation, but this is going to be a similar story if we can't be seen, if we can't be spotted because we're U.S. soldiers. Um, going to be a very similar situation to the Mac V. Sog guys in Vietnam who entered, you know, Vietnam and did these super special operations missions, but they couldn't use a single piece of gear that was manufactured in the U.S. or had any ties to the U.S., it's a very, very similar situation. And if they died, you know, it literally was like a black ops. Like, if you died, not our problem sort of vibe. Um, I don't think they used the word vibe back then, though, to describe. Oh, there's a 416 in here. But I had an M4 before, right? Uh, yeah, I, I had an M4. Okay, I'm going to go to the bivouac really quick. Customize this gun. And uh, remind myself of how the system works before we go in and do the mission. Hey, they fixed the floating backpack. There always used to be a floating backpack on my screen in this little cinematic. Okay. Uh, weapon change. I just want to customize this. I don't know if I could have done that outside of this. Probably could have. The standard barrel, standard mag. I just want a different sight. I want like an ACOG. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Um, what paints can I get? Oh, you know what we could do? Um, oh, the grip. You can't change the color of the grip. It'd be cool to have like a G28 looking gun with the, uh, with the stock and the pistol grip being that tan color. Like that. But I don't want the whole receiver to be that color, so... Um, you know, I'll go with the tan buttstock though. Just it looks it looks funny. I don't know. Oh, wrong button. Shit. 
I'm at the observation point. The outcast camp's been attacked. A lot of dead. The place is still crawling with enemies. Fucking Sentinel. Continue the recon without leaving the observation point. You can't reveal your presence. We need to find Ito. Recon all the yellow markers? Okay. Yeah, those guys definitely have different suits on. This place is surrounded by bodies. It was the epicenter of the fight. They must have come to capture Ito. Yeah, they're wearing like Gorka suits. That's a Bodark uniform. I thought mm -hmm. Bukharov was the last of them. Interesting. Russia must have gathered rogue Bodarks for Black Ops. This situation's new and dangerous. Jesus. That soldier's near invisible. Last time I saw this was in Bolivia. They're oh, I did not see the near invisible soldier. Oh, yeah, I do see them. see them. Using thermal vision. Ooh, Get spooky. This was a cruel attack with a lot of casualties. Did you find Ido? She's not here. If they got her or too many outcasts die, conquest will be impossible. It's looking more and more like Operation Motherland is compromised. I gotta find Ito. I can't let her down. Fine, but if Ito is dead, you have to escape Aroa before it falls. And if she's alive? We'll have to wait and see. First, secure the outcast camp. It's the only way to find intel on what happened to Ito. Copy. Nomad out. Okay. Looks like I'm jumping down into this camp. <laughs> you did a recon. <laughs> uh, I like that being part of the mission. And you did a recon. Congratulations. You reconned an area. Okay. So apparently they made it harder to like slip down mountains now because now you have to like sprint to slide. So you have to kind of, you can control your character now when before you would slip down every possible uh, mountainside in the game. Okie dokie. So I'm playing on the extreme difficulty. I do have some HUD elements up, but it's pretty lightweight compared to normal. The normal game has so much on the screen. Um, I would play with like no HUD or something, but I haven't played this game in a while. There's a guy that's unmarked over there. It's that guy. Yep. Oh yeah, they've got different voices now. They've got like Russian accents. I definitely am going to be a fan of fighting these guys more than the just super bland um, oh man I don't even remember the name of the of the enemy faction in this game whatever it was it was extremely bland and the soldiers were extremely boring to listen to <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it other than that just just super super bland faction Compared to, especially Wildlands, where you had like the Bolivian drug cartel and uh, and like the Bolivian police. I don't know who to take out first. Okay, that Russian accent is very forced, though. <laughs> okay, my guys are ready. I'm gonna take out the heavy guy. This guy inside is gonna be a little bit suspicious. I'm just gonna rush him. Yep. Yep, that's a 6B helmet. And a little Gorka suit. A little boots. AS Val. Ooh, look at that. Or no, that's an SR3M. Ooh. I already kind of want to switch my weapon. <laughs> uh, we'll keep the 416 for a little bit. I think it's pretty common that AS Val or SR3M. Yeah, there's another one on them. All right, good job, guys. Some dead... Civilians, seemingly. Uh, yep, more SR3Ms. Is that their only weapon they have? I hope it's not. I hope they have a little bit of diversity. These just have points in them. Oh, cool. Microtransaction points. I love implementing that into part of the gameplay. All right, so there's like three guys there. I can't spot that one. Uh oh, well. They have interesting ghillie suits, look at that. 
They have like cloaks. Ooh, that looks really cool. That looks really neat. Look at that. I don't know how they did that in the shaders, but that's actually a very cool like camo trench coat thing that they have. That's probably like, I don't know, that's impressive. I don't know why. It just whoever, whatever artist worked on that did a good job making augmented camo look pretty realistic and cool. <laughs> I say realistic for something that doesn't exist. You guys didn't hear that? Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was the last right. of them. Went loud at the very last second. But as long as we kill any uh, witnesses, then we're good. Oh, that was a swap weapon? I don't want a G28. Oh my. 416. Okie dokie. Uh, 130 meters that way. Grab some ammo off those guys. So yeah, and, and they've done a lot of work with like the heads-up display. I don't know if this was in the vanilla game when we last played it, but like the the heads-up display of ammo and all that stuff, it goes away whenever you're not near enemies, which is a really cool feature. It's almost like, hey, I'm gonna pop up when you need me, but otherwise, I'm not. Bowman, this is Nomad. The outcast camp is secure. No trace of Ito, dead or alive. Collectible, collectible. Precaution, but if Ito is dead, the only option will be for us to retreat. Your main objective is to conquer the region and save Ito. Start striking at the boat arcs you find. It's clear that they've invaded the island, and they are our most pressing obstacles. There okay. are several destabilization missions to support the primary objective. You can attack and destroy some boat arc VHC to reduce the boat arc's drone presence in the region. There's also yes, please. A <laughs> I'm gonna do that one first. Freedom, you might get intel on Ito, and simultaneously have possible reinforcements when the time comes to claim the region. Besides, the Bodarks unsurprisingly control the Parliament. Securing the Bodark checkpoint adjacent to it should encourage the outcast to unite once. Oh, I got—I didn't know that would cut her off. And push them to fight. I'm on it. No met out. Okay. So it looks like. Uh, okay, I'm confused. It looks. I'm trying to figure out what I do. The worst part about Breakpoint is the UI. It's so hard to tell what's going on. Like, I just put a beacon down. I'm trying to just, like, select a mission here. But I have no idea what to do. There's three skulls there. Okay, so that area is hard. This area is easy. This area is easy. Oh, but it's like a no-fly zone. Interesting. Drone swarms destroy aerial vehicles in this region. Oh! That's uh, that's pretty interesting. So the different areas have different difficulties. So in some places you don't have rebel support. You have boat arc reinforcements, aerial drone presence. Some areas like this, this is easy, apparently. So there's boat, boat arc dreadnoughts. I have no idea what that is. No rebel support in a Roa hospital. Low rebel presence in this region. Okay. Yeah, but like, what do I do once I'm in here? <laughs> Where do I go now? That's the thing. I I guarantee it's just to find things yourself and kill it, but it still is just a ton of UI for like these little dots. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, you need to weaken them enough. Thank you for now popping up. I just fast traveled to another location and then all this UI pops up telling me exactly what I needed to know. To dismantle the Bodark's activity in the UC Sparkle region. Don't know why it's called that. You need to weaken them enough to unlock your next main mission, okay? To do so, complete the required number of destabilization missions. Yeah, why didn't this pop up a second ago? This game, man, this game. The more destabilization, bleh, destabilization missions you do, the easier it will be to navigate the region. It is up to you com to complete more of them after the main mission unlocks itself. Hover over a mission icon on the map or a mission button in the B activity sector to see more info about it and pin it. Okay. Got it. See? That's what I needed. Like, tell me what to do, please. Might be necessary. All right. Let's go and do that mission. There's a bivouac on a, looks like a mountainside across the place from it. Uh, 
that's a fast moving camera. Okay. Um, let me see. Do we have a vehicle here? We have a vehicle across the river. Oh, it looks like it's pretty close though. Oh, it's 800 meters. It's a bit far. Click the E button. Clicking E button, drive. E for drive, yep, E for drive, yep, clicking the E button. I'm not clicking any other button, by the way. I'm clicking E to drive this truck. And this is what my character is doing. All right, okay, had to move up a little inch, got it. Looks like they well tested that feature. Um, ooh, there's actually a bike across the river. You know what, let's go across the river. Boys, you're cleared hot. Take out the bad guys. Thanks. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to grab this dirt bike. <laughs> is it the electric bike or is it? No, it's the it's the gas one. The electric bike is super torquey. And pretty dang fun. Ooh, can I get up this? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, it just gets steeper. Oh, maybe I have to go across that river then there. Oh, calm down, handbrake. Whoa! Very realistic physics here. Alright. Pop a wheelie! That would be a really hard wheelie to hold. Well, it sounds like there's a chopper. I wonder what types of choppers the boat arcs fly. Ooh, uh, is that a patrol coming? Yep, okay. I'm gonna get down. In preparation for that patrol. Located a bad guy over there. Master of Stealth. Actually, I probably, if I was driving a truck, I probably would not see that. I'm pretty dang camoed. Got to admit. That guy spotted. It's got a little Russian flag on it. Big difference. <laughs> spotted one there. What is that? Oh, that's my bike. <laughs> it's just, it's just sucked into the grass there. I think I've been here before. Yeah, you can jump up this. They added stuff. This was not here before. I 100% I know that that was not there before. You're going up those stairs quick, buddy. Uh-oh. Mistake. Now you're just showing off. What do you mean? I had to kill him. I love the Russian stars. Which is funny, because the Bodark logo was a wolf before. It wasn't even a Russian star like this. It was... It was Actually, a wolf is what I last remembered from Ghost Recon Feature Soldier. I don't know if the boat arcs were in any other games. Maybe they changed that. Maybe they changed it to the star. But I used to have an old clan on a shooter game, and we used the boat arc logo as our main logo for our, uh, for our clan. We totally stole it. Uh oh. So this is extreme difficulty. Let me, let me double check. Uh, settings. Oops, not settings, sorry. Ghost experience. Enemies are set to extreme, yeah. Enemies are on extreme, so if they do start shooting, I mean, we, we take damage pretty quick, so being stealthy is definitely I see a machine gunner. the play here. One of them just found a body. See these? Wait, are these boat arcs? Cause that last call that that guy just made, the there is nothing out here. That was not a boat arc. That was a uh, oh shoot. What's the what's the default enemy faction name in this game? Skell. I don't know. The bad guys. Yeah, they're slowly figuring it out. Ooh, radio operator. How can I get to you? Is there a back door? Is there not a back door? That one's locked. Dang it. Oh, shoot. He's calling. Uh, this is not good. Uh, I'm going to look around. 
Who's who's looking around above me? Okay, I guess I have to go outside and around. I think they're all outside. Hopefully they don't hear me sloshing through the water here. Oh, <laughs> he didn't see it? Come on. They have to be so confused. They just haven't spotted me yet, so they're not like in engagement mode. At this stage, you can quickly just run around and... They're kind of clueless. They have no communication. Even though they've spotted a dead body, they don't communicate to each other. Like, they're slightly suspicious. Oh. See, I can go fully auto. Blow that thing. And there's still a guy walking around like, okay, what? I'm going to cover. Where are you? Are you okay, above? Oh, he's up above. Alright, we do have to get upstairs in the main building, though. Hostile identified. Over there. How do we get upstairs in here? Oh, this is stairwell. They're out here. Oh, third person man. It is a pretty game, I will say that. It is There's a pretty game. Yet. Keep looking. Whoa, where? Oh, no, you son of a bitch. Above? I think right right above me. Or maybe below. There's nothing yet. Oh, he Keep was looking. below. Oh, he's walking away, okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, now, now I'm taking fire because he spotted me. Uh oh, mortar. Here, uh. Stop. There you go. That's the stop button. Uh, my character is my character is female. Thank you. It's got owned by a lady, being controlled by a male gamer. Does that make me a lady? That yeah, that would work. <laughs> Hello. Thank God. No man. Follow me. I'll keep you safe. All right. Can I get through here? Hello? Howdy. Nomad. Where's Ito? What happened? She's alive, but she was hurt in the attack on the camp. I don't this know where This reminds she me the of a Halo 2 her. mission where you break people out of a prison. So an, it's an interesting I think this is a new style of mission. Who are you? Nomad. I'm here to save you. The legendary. Oh, what the Oh. I can't wait to join it. Hello. Easiest thing in the game. If somebody's right up next to you, just click F. Uh, F. That's the button. F wins games. If you pay F... If you click F to pay your specs, you can also click F to slice someone's throat open. That's just the way it is. That's what Sun Tzu said. Do not click F to pay respects. Click F to slice their throats. Sun Tzu. Oh. Hey, at least the eyes can adjust, because that was a bit bright. Alright, so what helicopter do they have? Do they have any different helicopter? It looks like this is the same... Yeah. It's the same helicopter, just reskinned. And I feel like they could have made, like, a Russian helicopter here. I think they have... I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if I'm mixing this up with Battlefield. But I had a feeling that they had a K-50 helicopter as well. Do I escort them over here? Oh, I put them in that helicopter? It's got like a rebel paint job. Okay, this thing is cool. What? This thing is pretty sick. Look at that. What happened? 
Do you have any info on the It looks straight out of like How to Train Your Dragon, but it's still cool. They're brutal. Sentinel and the wolves are taking orders from them. I have no idea what they did with Ido. I can help you fight the Bodarks, but first you need to regroup and resupply. I may need your help when it comes to freeing Ito. Huh, so it looks like I can do like... Whoa! That was the weirdest helicopter physics I've ever seen. Okay, don't get shot down by a Sam now. The little 6mm armor will not protect you. Okay, let's figure out where we can go next. Looks like there's... I don't really want to do missions in, like, the cities. Yay! Only in Battlefield. Uh-oh. Helicopter, no, don't give me away. Helicopter! <laughs> Hopefully they're not alerted by the gigantic helicopter crash. What do you mean? What? I was on that area right there. Now I'm on this area. I can't wait. Oh, wait. Am I stuck? Okay, never mind. Sorry, movement was a bit glitchy there. Oh, so much UI. Sounds like a behemoth drone is over there somewhere. I don't know. Something's down there. That looks like an augmented camo thing. Spotted one there. Nice shot. Heads up, bad guy over there. Whoa. Let me get some microtransaction points before we go in. Very important that I get these. Because I must look cool. If I don't look cool, I'm not winning. Looking cool is the most important part. Whenever someone tells you your gear is poo, be like, yeah, but do I look cool? Like, hey man, yeah, that... You know that that huge jacket that you're wearing? Yeah, that's gonna not. That's like you're gonna overheat really quick. But you're like, do I look cool? And they're like, I mean, yeah, yeah, you look cool. You're like, that's all that matters. I look cool. Probably all clear, but search the area. Why were you talking in Russian and then now? Hey. How'd that work out for you, huh? <laughs> Three, five, five, six, aim off the man. Intel and a, an like asset. Prototype for an optical camo cloak. Okay, optical this camo. Come in handy. Uh, I gotta go downstairs into the basement somehow. How do I get down there? Or is it another entrance? Oh, oh, sleeping rooms. Really? Heavy gunner ID. Why would it be called Copy. sleeping rooms Target and not just head. bedrooms? Is this a cryo sleep place? Oh, it is. The wolves may be skilled. I'm bad at the game. That's the stuff. Also, I just killed whoever's in that cryopod behind you. Sorry. Hey, you're, wait, wait, how about the vitals? Okay, you got a hundred be, a hundred over twenty-five. <laughs> okay, your heart's a little messed up. Uh, focus? I can't get in there? Wait, wait, H? Do I have to click H to focus? Locked. Need accredita accreditation. Accre oh, accredit. I need the accredits. Denied. Wrong profile. Hmm. Let's try our active camo. Heads up, that guy over there. Oh, but it only works for a little second. 
So I guess we can upgrade that over time. It's like very, very basic at the moment. Now it's charging up. Interesting. So how are we supposed to, you know, focus? Yep, I am focused. Hmm. Do I need to do I need to get somebody and walk them over here probably? Hey buddy, I'm gonna use you for something. Is All that... is clear on my side. Why did door just open? I don't know why door open. Let me go investigate. Whoop, up. No no no! You're coming with me, comrade! Come here, you little scoundrel. <laughs> You're coming with me. Little Bodark. Come here, I just need accreditation. Accreditation. With your little Pazgit helmet. Come here, little Pazgit helmet. Look. Ta da! This is all I needed you for. Your services are now complete. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 that's a cool gameplay element. I forgot that existed in this game. Alright, Intel and Asset. <laughs> I like how that says that. Now checking my Facebook notifications. They're keeping Ito at the hospital. Or sorry, my meta, I my meta notifications. Fast. Oh wait, I don't want that gun. No, 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 no! Give me the, give me the board of scene. Why would there be an FR2 sniper rifle in here? I do not know. What is that? Explosives? Please be C4. No, that that thing right there. Sink? Is that? That's sink shots. There are definitely some grenades there. Oh, I gotta see what's on this screen. Oh, it's all, it's all unreadable, isn't it? Hmm. I always, I, I always hope that those things have Easter eggs. Let me see if there's anything eligible here. Fix all bugs. Regulate all processed hard work yearly. Deadlines are in a week. <laughs> Can we inter- Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me zoom in on that. Can we integrate a cooler voiceover for our draws? Draw, drawer? Drawer? I don't know. Jeopardizing Intel may increase knowledge inside new groups. Hmm. What was that one? Repaint. Repaint all data out of date. Out of, yeah. Cryptid data needs new password. Hmm. I like I like that one. Fix all bugs. You definitely know that game devs were like, make one that just says fix all bugs. <laughs> okay, so we're done with this area now? I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, wait. No, there's something at the Aurora Hospital. Can I unselect the other mission, though? Because I don't, I don't need the small ones. I kind of want to just go full sin with the main mission right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Ooh. That doesn't look too good. Wow, they really like. Perfect pattern. Hey. Nice PVS sevens, idiot. Just kidding, I own PBS 7s. They're kind of cool. Hey, man, they... You can't see crap through them, but they're still cool. And remember, looking cool is the most important part. I actually do really like the look of PBS 7s. They're, they're pretty neat. Everybody makes fun of PBS 7s. Alright, but PBS 7s were huge back in the day. Russia was terrified. Russia made uniforms to fight our PVS-7 because our PVS-7s were so good. Yeah, the wolves. What about them? The wolves are who you're scared of? Meet the ghost. We eat wolves for breakfast and slide down hills. 
but not unless they're rocky. If they're rocky, we can't slide down them because of the game physics, but... I do like the sound effects of these guys. Look at that! Look at that active camo! That looks sick! That makes me want just a Ghost Recon Future Soldier game. Hey, buddy! Extreme difficulty, by the way. <laughs> Nothing to see. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get low, prone camo, and pop a drone up. If I can while prone camo? Yep. Cool. Generator. I'm spotting people through the building. Sniper. Um... This place is big. I'm gonna try to stealth this, but it's gonna be pretty difficult. This is a really cool looking location though. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the futuristic locations. Like, they look cool. And I will give it that. But I do like the Bolivian architecture a lot more. Like, just the... I don't know. Makes me feel ghost, more Ghost Recon-y. Okie dokie. How are we going to stealth this place? There. There's the generator in the back. Um, which will take out probably their mortar system if they do have one here. I don't see any. We'll go turn the generator off. Probably next mission we'll, uh... We'll get to the camp and then, uh make it nighttime. We'll wait until nighttime to do the mission. I do want to try some night op stuff. Nobody's guarding the generator? Just wide open on the back here? Okay. Press the button. Sabotage. Bonk. The power has been sabotaged. It took expert skill to do so. Alright, I'm going to go in the opposite way over here. I think there's an entrance kind of in the Reach middle of the place. Is door open? No. Okay. Right, I'm gonna give you a one bonk. Bonk. Way to get some. Way to get some. Uh oh. Woo! There's a guy up on the roof. Actually, come with me. Come with me. F. F to carry. Clicking the F key. F. Thank you. I'm taking you with me for a second. And throw. Into the corner. Reacher on the objective. Ooh, there's a guy right outside there. He totally could have seen the body. Is that ballistic glass? Marking a breacher. I'm not gonna take the chance. That's the stuff. Okay, I don't think there's any more guys on this floor. Oh wait, who's that? Is that a civilian? That doesn't look like it. No, it is. Nothing Ooh, big heavy guy. Okay, we're gonna get for big heavy guy to come closer. These are all just civilians. They're gonna freak out. And might spook him. Can I distract the civilians? There's a breacher. Oh! I think I hear something. Whoa, the invisible guy above me just totally went invisible. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's like. Feels like Half Life 2. 
Shot heard. Yep, they're definitely gonna have heard it. But are they gonna... Woo! Spooky, man. Yeah, those guys are cool. Once they get in an alert phase, they go fully invisible. Okay. There's still a few guys on this floor. I'm just gonna try to get in. I, I don't wanna kill everybody. Kind of an unnecessary risk. How would he not see me? Is the door gonna open? No, I think there's only one way in. Okay. None of my teammates are gonna get a shot on that guy. I'm just gonna do it myself. Okay. Hello. That looks bad. Who are you? Glad you made it, Nomad. Didn't doubt you for a second. Man, Ito, we'll you look messed safe. up. Can you walk? I think so. And my men? Busy attacking Bodarks. Music to my ears. Okay, let's go. Just gotta sneak out of here. Ooh, dead body found. He's gonna alert everybody. Okay. I'm gonna use that same truck that we used to get in to get out. I think. Oh, the ceiling looked weird. I thought that was the sky for a second. Why are my ghosts still way out here? Vasily was just sitting behind this barrier the whole time. Come on, Ito. Vasily, were you stuck? Oh, you look definitely kind of in a stuck spot, like you couldn't figure out how to get out. Um, I don't think I can drive the truck. Let me see if I can go passenger seat and then get into driver from it, maybe? Seat change. Cool. Ito, get in. All right, where do we go? Um, might just have to go loud. Sure, kill them all. How do you get out of this place? Oh, I see the highway. It's like underneath. Oh yeah, I see. Ooh, this is weird. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, did not know that it was this sort of landscape. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're out. We're out of there. Uh-oh. We're just gonna run. Miles per hour, 75. We're probably maintaining a good, I don't know, 60. Keep going, just keep going. This thing actually kind of hauls. Like its top speed is really fast. This would be terrifying. Ooh, the jumps, the gravity is so high on the vehicles. You do a huge jump in a heavy truck and the truck just instantly gets pulled back down. Watch this, wonk. <laughs> oh, sorry deer. Oh no, another deer. <laughs> I swear I'm not trying. Suspicious noise. Yes, the minigun is quite suspicious. <laughs> Hello, I brought Ito back. You should be safe now. Your men will help heal you. Thank you for saving me, Nomad. I mean it. Do you have any intel on the Bodarks? We didn't see them coming. Just when we won the upper hand over Sentinel and the Wolves, the Bodarks come around and unite them all. I don't know much about their motivations, but they are aggressive, brutal murderers. I can help you fight back, but you need to be careful. 
I'll set up a new base here, and we'll contact you and Bowman by radio to coordinate the next phase of the conquest. Okie dokie. Well, that was the first region. Uh -oh. to be here. What's going on? Thank you both for keeping your word and not leaving me to the dogs. The outcasts were inspired by Nomad's efforts. They were able to push the Bodarks back and claim the region. I suspect the Bodarks receive orders from Russia. If any word of this gets out, it could ignite a world war. Doesn't Russia consider the Bodarks terrorists? They spoke as Russian envoys. They must be working together. We need to move quickly. Something doesn't feel right. I can't report anything to the U.S. authorities right now if we want to give Operation Motherland a fighting chance. Ida will coordinate with the outcasts on the next phase of the conquest. She's been training them for months. They're more than ready to show what they're made of. Nomad, it's up to you to pick which region to pursue next. The outcasts will be there to support you. Huh. Copy. Nomad out. Interesting. So then from here, from this first region, I can go to anyone that I'd like to. Okay, well, yeah, that was the first uh, first mission of Operation Motherland. Kind of gives you a good idea of how it all works. We were able to do two of, like, the small quests, and then we did a, a larger quest to kind of complete the area. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total areas that you could potentially do. Oh, what? It's weird. It only does that the second time I open the map. Okay, the Bodarks have lost control. Uh, yep. Okay, yep, got it. The Bodark chain of command has sliced Aurora into territories, take over all the regions of a territory to identify and then neutralize those important targets. Like in UC Sparkle, the stabilizing regions makes it easier to take action in it. It allows, for example, to fly over regions which would be otherwise no fly zones. Oh, interesting. So you can take out like a SAM site or something, a SAM site base, and then you can make it a, a flyable zone. Um, so it's, oh, it's asking me which one to go in? Oh, so you, each one of these regions, there's three different regions, but they all lead to one person. So there's four total targets that we could go to. I guess we'll do this one first. Sure. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be clicking. Am I supposed to be clicking something? Okay. Conquest overview. Got it. Yep. Choose next destination. All right. Well, yeah, that's the, uh. That's the Operation Motherland episode for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked it, definitely uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.